Now, Saturday is Reptile Awareness Day, and you can learn all you ever wanted to know, and maybe even more than you ever wanted to know, about snakes, turtles, lizards, and gators, all at the ABQ Biopark. Our Face of Fox, Michael Newman, has the details. This is your Face of Fox, Michael Newman, and if you haven't been to the Biopark or haven't been in a while, you need to come and to talk a little bit about some of the upcoming events at the, at the Biopark. Doug, you're a herpetologist, right? Yes, that's my title. Herpetologist. And what exactly does that mean? Well, I cover the reptiles and amphibians here at the Biopark. And basically, we do everything from taking care of the animals to research and conservation on the animals here. Wow. And you were telling me there's a, a big reptile awareness day coming up soon. Can you tell me more about that? That's coming up this Saturday the 19th, and it's in conjunction with our half price weekend. So you come on in, you get in for half price, and this is free with regular admission. We'll have a lot of booths set up. We'll have keepers talking and interacting with people, letting them know not only about the animals that we have here at the Biopark, but also the conservation initiatives and some of the really cool bio medical initiatives that we're involved in here with the biopark as well. So it's going to be really cool. All right, Doug, so I know there's a lot of parents out there that are, you know, in the winter months, they're not trying to go outside. So, I mean, can you tell people about, you know, some of the exhibits that are inside? We do. We have a lot of venues here inside. The biopark wide, we have the aquarium. We have the indoor conservatories over at the Botanic Garden. Here at the zoo, we have the reptile building, Tropical America. We have a lot of venues that are inside out of the weather. So no matter what the temperature is outside, you can always come here and have a good time. It's the perfect place, and I always call it a life-changing experience. You come in with your kids, they remember this. We all remember our trip to the zoo, and it's just the perfect place to come and learn and inter interact with your kids, and it doesn't get any better than a biopark. I've never been here before, just but walking around, and a lot of people don't know. They think about the polar bears, they think about, you know, the orangutans, but this is kind of a... The reptiles are a different thing, you know, than other, other places around the world. They Bible. are, and we're very fortunate. We've got one of the most unique reptile collections in the United States, and we've heard that we're on par with uh, San Diego and a lot of the other big oh. ones out there. And we've got a, a, a nice lineup of different types of specimens from the ones that you want to see in zoos, the big pythons and king cobras, to the ones that you probably wouldn't see anywhere else in the United States. So it's a, it's a really unique collection. And tell me about some of the, the initiatives you were, ta you were talking about before with the biomedical stuff and how, you know, maybe the venom of snakes is going to be the new medicine, you were telling me? We are. We're involved with a lot of things. We're involved with six different species that are here in New Mexico um, on our native species program that we're doing conservation with. We're also involved with some of the venom labs and the biomedical technology that's going on out there with snake venoms. Snake venoms as a whole can be a very, very bad thing, but they do have proteins in there that are designed to do different things like shut down blood pressure, turn off nerves and do this. So we're looking at this could be the next medical breakthrough. We know that the best um, thing we have out there right now for breast cancer is copperhead venom. And that's going to be the new drug for that. So we actually extract from our snakes when needed and send these off to these venom labs that we partner with to do this biomedical research. That's so awesome. Yeah. I mean, so I, I mean, educating people to come to these events to learn about these initiatives and to you know take part in things that we have in the city. Exactly, and that's why we're here. We're not just a, a place you come and look at the animals, but we want you to learn about these animals, how they pertain to us, how they pertain to the ecosystem, how we're all kind of networked all together. So that's what we want to bring people in, especially this weekend, get them over their fear of snakes, or if they're really into snakes, show them something to tell them something they probably didn't know that they didn't know. Exactly. I like that. Well, thank you so much. Thank I you. I appreciate it, Doug, and maybe we'll get a snake around me or something. That's right. <laughs> Thanks, Michael. What a great thing to do this weekend. The ABQ Biopark is located at 903 10th Southwest, and for more information, you can visit casa.com.